Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Welcome to a very well-researched, long and involved video called Why We Should Never Forget What James Charles Did. Um, okay, so before I get into this video, I just want to um, show you guys my phone and show you that it is currently 1.12 a.m. on the morning of uh, September 22nd, which is the morning of um, the autumn equinox. And the reason that I'm saying this is because I don't want you guys to fall into the manipulation and lies of James Charles superfans. So, and yes, I am referencing his timestamp of the phone for April Fool's Day in his video uh, that he did called Holding Myself Accountable, which I just watched tonight, sitting right there over in the chair, normal speed. Um, I watched it for probably, I mean, honest to God, like my 15th or 20th time in my life of watching this video, and I took extensive notes. So, um, I will be um, reading those notes and commenting on the video extensively. So that later down the road, when I refer to it, people in the comment sections can say, Peter did an entire video talking about this. He did research. Um, he looked up these words. He looked up these topics. Because um, James Charles, can, through the whole video, refers to topics, but never says what the topics are. Okay? I don't have a problem talking about those topics. So I will be referencing those topics today. And until James Charles comes out and proves that he is a changed person or that he is attempting to do things differently or take a look at his life or, I don't know, work on himself, um, I will continue to address these situations and use these words because I think it's important. James Charles in his video said that um, he is glad that this happened and that he doesn't ever want to forget, okay? Um, apparently, a super fans want to forget, but James doesn't want this to forget, even though he um, has completely acted the opposite of that. But I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, uh, I watched Big Brother earlier, and then I was laying down in bed, and I was reading comments on my video, because I was just trying to relax for a little bit. I honestly, I didn't have plan, I didn't have a plan to make a video out here tonight. Last night, I went to the casino um, with my good Judy, Valerini. Hey, Valerini, how are you? And um, we had such a great time, and we stayed there way too late. I was really tired, but um, I did very well. I did very well. <laughs> um, I won $2,600 last night, so, or I came home $2,600 ahead. So anyway, um, we had a really, and it, that wasn't just the only reason. I mean, we had so much fun. We were laughing and high-fiving each other and getting all kinds of bonuses, and it was fun. But anyway, I didn't plan to make any videos today, and I ended up making, like, five videos today. Um, I just love this so much. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you out there that watches any of my videos on any of my channels. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos planned to make tomorrow. I honest to God didn't really know, and you can go fact check this because I said this in my vlog, I really didn't know what I was gonna make on this channel today, right? And so I was reading through my comments and I got a, a comment from somebody, and this is the second time that they've requested that I respond to their comment. They're very, very lengthy comment in defense of James Charles. Although they say that they're not defending James Charles and they're not even a fan of him and they've unfollowed him on everything. But it's important that we make sure that we're not um, sensationalizing this topic, which I, I think I agree with that, right? Um, and that we don't use words incorrectly, which I absolutely agree with. Um, so I'm going to make sure tonight that we look up the um, appropriate definitions for these words like grooming and predatory behavior, and I will be explaining why those are words that I use in association with James Charles, and I do believe that those are the topics that he refers to in his video because he's not going to come out and say the topics are grooming and predatory behavior, okay? That's why he says topics. Um, that's why he uses the word victims. But like I said, I'm getting ahead of myself. Last night when we were on the way to the casino, and I shared this in my video earlier today, um, my friend Valerie said uh, that she really enjoys these outside conversations late at night that I have on video because she said, you know, I don't want to take away your enjoyment or your love or authenticity of like flipping a fan and singing songs. She's like, I love that part of you too. She goes, but when you sit outside on the front porch, she's like, that is, the, and like with my vlogs too, she's like, that's the Peter Mon that I know that is like well thought out and calm and you don't circle around to topics nine million times and you know, you just, you seem very simple and what you're talking about. And it really meant a lot to me, you know, when she said that. And I do love to flip fans and talk on the drama phone and talk about funny ha-ha drama. 
But especially on a topic like this, I think it is very important that I am very centered and um, that I'm, I'm thoughtful and that I've sat here and I've kind of been peaceful and serene for a little bit so that I say the things that I want to say. So um, t to Valerie and to everybody else out there that has said that you like these late night videos, I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So let's get right into it. I have a Diet Coke right here, of course, because it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be a late night video without a Diet Coke. Um, okay, so I got this comment on my video. Um, well, we kind of went back and forth for a little bit, and then I told her at the end of the comment, I said, because she was wanting me to refer reference and, and comment on a comment that she had left me on my Daniel Prada video. And so I'm gonna read the comments that we went back and forth on tonight's video. Um, and then I'm going to read you, so I asked her to email me, she emailed me, and, um, and she's been very nice in this whole situation. So this is not like a, um, uh, I don't want anyone to think that this is me like nasty coming for this person. Um, I do believe, even though she says she's not a fan of James Charles, I, I don't know why you would go to these lengths to want to make sure that we're, you know, using these appropriate words and things like that when they are so applicable to James Charles and, you, and you're literally writing paragraphs and comment sections. I mean, paragraphs, you guys, like, like this long, okay? And I'm not in real life in, in a comment section, okay? You're literally writing paragraphs, paragraphs about James Charles, but then saying that you're not a fan of James Charles, okay? Well, I think you don't want us to think that you're a fan of James Charles, and Maybe you're confused that you're not a fan of James Charles, but it, it comes across as if you are. Um, your comments were very nice to me. They really were. They were very nice. They were very gracious. Um, so this is not me being nasty, but I think it brings up an important topic. You know, and I say a lot about James Charles in my videos and things like that, but I want to make a very pointed video specifically to why it is important that we do not forget what James Charles did, okay? And so that is why I have chosen to address a specific comment, also because she has... I mean, spent a lot of time writing these comments and sending me the email. And um, I think that this discussion that she wants me to have is an important discussion. So, let me get into this. Okay, so the first comment that she left me tonight, this is not the first comment on my video, but the first comment that she left me tonight says, Hey Peter, if you have, uh, if you have the chance to do so, I'd love to hear you respond in your next video to the comment I left on your latest video about Daniel Prada. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit because I feel like this is like really up high. Is that better? <laughs> you guys are like, it's no different. Okay. It's not a comment from a place of hate, but more so from frustration with how sensationalized things can get with certain verbiage that's been used when discussing James Charles and James Charles' friends. And I think she's referring to calling James Charles a predator, um, a groomer, and calling his friends predator protectors, which they are, okay? Um, and I, I'm, I will prove that in the video tonight. So, I hope you're able to read it and consider changing some of your uh, the language we use in order to be as accurate as possible when discussing these serious topics. I'm not sure how the comment came off, but I meant it from a good place as a longtime fan of yours, and I appreciate that. I really do, okay? And as a longtime fan of mine, if you really listen to what I say in this video tonight and you take it with any kind of seriousness whatsoever, I hope that um, when I read the rest of your comments and what you have to say and when I, and I show you proof about these things that you've asked me, I hope that you will reconsider your stance and that you will let me know in a comment that you retract your statement and that you were actually wrong. Um, that I, I think I think that would prove to other people. Um, you know, I, I try to show growth and change in my videos when I get something wrong or I don't understand something and I come back and I correct myself. There's no shame in that or anything like that, right? Um, so it, it, these these points that you're making are very serious points. Um, I went inside. I went and you know Googled these organizations that their sole purpose is to um, you know talk about predatory behavior and child grooming and protecting kids and protecting adults because there's no age limit on grooming or predatory behavior and, and this was one of the points that you made in here and this is one of the points that and it actually it really made me think about this honestly this is one of the points that a lot of people including myself have made that we talk about the minors and the minors and the minors and the minors um, you know and 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 some of the things that I found tonight and I already knew this but grooming doesn't have to only occur occur with minors or children. Grooming can be of adults as well. So whether James Charles, I mean, it, it, it is either further a problem 
that he was talking to two 16-year-olds. Um, and it's interesting the manipulation tactics he uses in this video, and I'll explain that to you in a second. Um, but it really, to be honest with you, it doesn't I mean, it's, it's worse, okay, that they're 16 years old. But in the discussion of grooming and predatory behavior, um, it doesn't really matter as far as what he was doing. It just, those were the victims that happened to be picked. Um, so when people want to defend it and say, well, he didn't know that they were minors and, okay, well, they could have been 25 years old and if he was still doing these behaviors to them and making them uncomfortable, as he said, um, and calling them victims, victims of what, what topics, I don't know. He never says in the victim. He doesn't say what they're victims of in the video, right? Um, I don't know, victims of bad makeup looks. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, right? Because he just says victims. He says, I apologize, or I'm sorry, so, so sorry to the victims. Um, I literally have notes of his exact words because I wanted to make sure that I got this right. Um, he keeps on talking about topics. I've researched these topics. After I've researched these topics, I find that, found out that what I did, there was nothing right about it. What topics are you talking about? Um, are you talking about social studies topics? Are you talking about current events? Are you talking about Big Brother? What, are you what topics are you talking about? Are you talking about grooming and predatory behavior? Are those the topics that you're talking about that you won't say in your video because you know that there will be a sound bite that's t taken off of that? And, and you're too afraid of that, so you say topics instead? Okay, so, to the person that wrote this comment, all right, I have shown numerous times that I have no problem coming around and um, taking responsibility for things that I get wrong. I just did this the other day, um, and there's no shame in that. You know, as human beings, we err sometimes and get things wrong. Sometimes we have to change our stance when we are brought further information. And, and I sometimes am like, wow, like I didn't look at it that way. Thank you for educating this to me. I feel like that with comments that I get, right? So when I, when I show you <clears throat> that those are actually appropriate words to use with James Charles, okay, and his behaviors, I hope that you can find it in your heart to leave a comment on this video and say, wow, I wasn't aware of that. Thank you for educating me and other people. Um, and I will say that there's a lot that I have learned myself through researching these things by going to organizations and, and all of the warning signs and the definitions and things like that that I was not aware of. There's no shame in not being aware of something, okay? The shame should come into taking such a firm stance defending somebody when you don't have the knowledge and you aren't willing to look it up. Um, with a simple Google search that took me 10 minutes tonight, I came up with several definitions and several examples of how this applies to James Charles. So, let's get into the rest of these comments, okay? So, um, okay. The, and I, and I want to make this very clear. This is not me being, like, shady in the video, okay? Um, I, I'm, I think this is important that she brought this to my attention so that we can have a further discussion about it. So then she says, oh, there was somebody that left a comment on here. I don't know what the comment was. Either this person deleted their comment. I did not delete their comment. So either this person deleted their comment or whatever, but she's responding to them. So I don't know what they said. And she says, go, James, go defend James Charles somewhere else. It must be like a James Charles defender. I don't know. Um, the fact that you think it's okay to be... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, this is somebody that responds to her. Says, go... Oh, the comments are now there. They weren't there earlier. Okay, so this person says, go defend James Charles somewhere else. The fact that you think it's okay to be friends with Predator shows you're a part of the problem. James Charles admitted to what he has done. He used his fame to target young straight boys. He used a power imbalance in his favor. That is grooming. You obviously don't know the definition of the word. James Charles is a predator and a groomer, and no matter how many comments you want to leave saying he he's not, doesn't make it any less true. And the original commenter responded to her. <clears throat> this is her comment. I don't know if you can see it. It's literally this long, okay? In very small print. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but you're totally incorrect about that. James never admitted he uses his fame to target young straight boys. Okay, I'll be, prov I'll be proving that wrong, actually, in the video, because I have a quote to the contrary on that. There's zero evidence of James saying that. There's actually 100% evidence of that in his holding himself accountable video. Okay, absolute 100% evidence of that. Actually, I'll just, I'll refer to that right now. What James says is, hold on a second, let me get to it. What James says is in the video, he talks about power imbalance uh, beginning to be con uh, discussed in, on social media, and rightfully so, he says. And he said he was accused of using my fame, money, and power to get what I wanted. He said, I said I would never do that and he thought it was gross and disgusting he still stands by that but i've realized that power imbalance which would imply using your fame money and power 
okay? What he's realized is that power imbalance can happen even when it's not intentional. People will say and do things because they're excited about talking to a celebrity. I wasn't getting that, but I now do, is what he says, okay? So what he's saying in there is that he understands now, okay, that even though he was not intentionally using his power, money, and fame, which I don't believe, okay, when he was talking about sending people plane tickets, that's money, okay, about talking to that, he knew when he was getting online talking to his people that he was James Charles, and the only reason they were talking to him was that he was James Charles, okay, that's fame, and he has power in that as well in numbers. The majority of these people would never have been talking to James Charles if he wasn't James Charles. He knows that. He says that in the video. He says, I feel like I can turn off the camera and be James Dickinson in normal clothes. But for 99.9% .9 of the people out there, they will never see me any different than the public James Charles. He says almost that exact same quote. So he does address it in the video. You're absolutely incorrect about that. Okay? I just want to make that clear while we're going through this. Okay? So then she goes on to say... There's zero evidence of James saying that. He was DMing people without verifying age, which I acknowledge countless times is incredibly wrong. But the notion that it was intentional isn't supported. Okay, so this is very interesting because in the video, I, I guess I'll just start referring to the video now. In the video, James says in there, hold on a second. Um, he says, uh, where is it at? Ch -ch 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 that he was told that they were 18 and found out that they were 16 and he immediately blocked both people. Now, this is important, okay? Because right before this in the video, he says, two people, both under the age of 18, have come forward saying that they had inappropriate messages with me on social media. This is James Charles exchanging nudes, asking for nudes, asking for pictures of armpit hair, asking sexual inappropriate questions, things like that, okay? So, one of them being from last year, and one of them being more recent. But then he follows this up to say, and immediately blocked both people, okay? Well, if one was from last year, you immediately blocked them when you found out that they were 16, okay? So, the other one was more recently. So, you were talking to this person that said that they were 18. You'd already been lied to one time and found out about it. You're talking to somebody that is 18 years old and looks young enough that you might that might be questionable. I'm not saying that there aren't 16 year olds out there that look like they're 18, but it seems like that's kind of the demographic that you're going for is somebody that looks just 18, barely legal. I think is what they call it. You know, there's and, and James wants to talk about this whole thing about like he says in the video and we'll reference this too that he's it's always been his hope to date somebody around his age or older. Okay. Well, 18 is not around your age at this time, okay? And 18 around is not, definitely not around your age at 24, and you're still asking people for validation of their age, okay? So, you know, there's a whole porn fetish of barely legal and things like that, right? And that's kind of what James Charles has looked for. There's evidence of that, right? So you blocked this person a year ago that lied to you. You referenced that in 2019 you were lied to. It's a pattern, okay? The pattern is that you hit on guys and they lie to you about the circumstances of their life and then you have to come out and defend yourself. Well, if you're lied to one time, shame on them. Maybe even two times, shame on them. But three times, shame on you, James. And you do take full accountability in this video. The problem is that nothing has changed, okay? You haven't changed, you talk about the For You page and the Explore page not being dating apps and you're going to do better in the future. Do better. Something that Manny MUA and Daniel Prada both say, right? He just, Daniel Prada just said that. He's going to do better in the future. All these mantras that you guys use about doing better and doing better and blah, 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 okay? But you're still doing it. In the Cosmopolitan article, you came out and you said that in DMs, when you're talking to people, you ask for their identification. So you're still talking to people in DMs, okay? When you came out and you said that social media apps are not dating apps. It's an exact quote almost. I have the quote written down, so we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? But let me get back to the comment. Because I'm not even into the big comment that she wants me to address. Um, he was DMing people without verifying age, which I acknowledge countless, countless times is incredibly wrong. But the notion that it was intentional isn't supported. I gen well, he did say in the Logan Paul interview, um, after he came out in this video and said he wanted to date someone his own age or older, he then comes out in the Logan Paul interview, and when Logan asked him about dating, he said it's, he always wants to date somebody that looks as young as possible, like 18. He says that. That's his own words, Okay. So, he's lied now in two separate videos. 
he covered his ass in his holding myself accountable uh, holding myself accountable video by saying that it was his hope to date somebody around his age or older but then in the Logan Paul video he said he wanted to date somebody that looked as young as possible okay well you're saying that he's not intentionally seeking these people out but he's intentionally seeking somebody that looks as young as possible to 18 okay so that would mean to me by that that clarification that he would date somebody that looked 15, 16 as long as they were 18, right? That's problematic in itself. And he admitted that on the Logan Paul interview. You can go see, you can go search it out, okay? Um, I genuinely have no idea where you got the idea that he targets specifically straight young men and uses his fame to do it either. I just explained that to you. Um, he said it. It's his words, actually, okay? Also, with all due respect, I don't think you would you could give a solid de definition of grooming. I'm going to give you one here in a second. I've given one before based on um, the same article that Gabrielle Bluestone used to quote grooming in her article. And what a a Andrew Quintana in the Colin Ballinger article used, I used that same, the RAIN website for definition. But today for just verification, I used a completely different website, several websites actually, okay? And I will give you a, a, an appropriate definition of grooming. I genuinely have no idea where you, okay. Also, with all due respect, I don't think you could give me a solid definition of grooming. Grooming isn't when you talk to someone young as a famous person. It's a deep metho metho methodical and intentional process of setting up someone for sexual abuse or sexual exploitation. It's a process that involves spending a considerable amount of time Forming a connection and building up a relationship with someone and then isolating them from all their friends and family and everyone in their life in order to build a dependency on them so they can exploit them sexually. Okay, you have picked and chose, picked and ch chosen what words you want to use from the definition of grooming to fit it to defend James Charles. So you say you don't aren't a fan of James Charles, but you literally picked words like exploit isolate, things like that, which are definitions sometimes in grooming, not always. And if you go read the definitions on these websites, which I will cite for anybody that can, wants to go over there and look at them, they will say that sometimes a groomer might isolate their victims. Sometimes a groomer might spend long periods of time, but it can be weeks or it can be it can be months. It can be days. They, it, there's no time limit on it, okay? It's not a long, pro lengthy process. I don't know where you got that from. Every definition I looked up said that there is, there's no time limit on it, okay? It can be a day. It could be months. It could be years, right? Okay. Um, where am I at? It's a very... In intentional process that takes place over a very long time span that's 100% incorrect. It can, but no, it doesn't have to. And I'm going to prove that to you here in a second. There's nothing to indicate James did any of those key factors in grooming. So you pick the ones that James didn't do so that you can say that he's not a groomer or a predator, but you didn't use the definition pieces that do apply to James Charles for being a groomer and a predator, okay? Which is, to be honest with you, it is really, really um, negligent of you to come and defend James Charles and, and say this. And it's really negligent to all of the other victims out there of anybody, okay, that has groomed them or that they are a predator of people. It's really negligent and, and it's really hurtful to those people, okay? And um, to anybody out there that has ever experienced that, like, I, I'm really sorry. Um, and, it, you know, it can happen to somebody that's 80 years old. It can happen to somebody that's 8 years old. There's no age. It can happen in a day. It can happen in two years. It, it, it can be a long process. It can be a short process. I really educated myself on this tonight. I already had. So this is absolutely incorrect, okay? Um, I understand why you feel um, there's nothing to indicate James did any of those key factors in grooming, nor would it even be possible considering how short the interactions James had with those fans was. I understand why you feel so strongly about this since James messed up so incredibly badly. Messed up with what? If he wasn't seeking these people, this, this is what I don't understand. I almost feel like this comment might be from James Charles. Like, I almost kind of feel like this is James Charles commenting on my video, in all honesty. Because it's, it sings very much of the things that James Charles has said through the years, right? Okay, um, what did he mess up about? If, as the fans say, he wasn't seeking somebody younger, which I've proven that that's not true, that he had no intention of talking to somebody, he blocked them immediately when he did that. He thought they were 18 years old, which a 20-year-old talking to an 18-year-old is consensually legal. If you believe that, then what did he do that was fucked up and wrong? 
This is what's interesting to me is when people say that James Charles did something fucked up and wrong, but he's not a predator and a groomer. If he's not a predator and groomer, then what did he do that was fucked up and wrong? What are these topics that James Charles is talking about? If you really believe that James Charles had no knowledge of these people and wasn't trying to coerce them to send him armpit pictures, <laughs> I mean, which is ridiculous, right? Okay, or, because it's obviously his fetish. Um, body hair is obviously his fetish, which is whatever. We all have fetishes. Okay, but like, he was asking for sexual information from these people. If you don't think that there's anything wrong with that, then why do you say what he did was fucked up, but it's not predatory and grooming? Well, what is it then? I'm confused. Can you explain it to me? He apologizes in this video and says that nothing that he did was appropriate. If you don't think that anything that you did was wrong and that you were just desperate, then why are you saying, I'm sorry to the victim? I'm so, so sorry to the victims. The victims of what? Of being fucked up? Like, you guys, the defense doesn't match. I mean, you know, it's like the ends of the mass means. I mean, the defense doesn't match what he did. Like, I'm very confused about this defense for James Charles. With, by James Charles, by his fans, whatever, right? Okay. I understand why you feel so strongly about this since James messed up so incredibly badly and was beyond irresponsible. But using the accurate terms is so important. I agree it is. And so if you're going to defend those terms and say that they aren't appropriate for James Charles, then you're going to get schooled. And I am being shady now, okay? Because what you're doing is incredibly negligent by saying that those terms do not apply to him and actually giving um, incorrect definitions of what those terms are. You picked and chose what parts of the definition you wanted to use. This person responds to him and says, it seems like you have no actual solid rebuttal or response to what I've said, so you decided to use the fact that my comment was long as an easy way to dismiss it. I think that says a lot about your ability to engage with the situation from a reasonable and non-biased lens. Well, she did the same thing to me, so. Um, and then I said to her, what exactly do you think he means when he speaks of power differential? And I've given many solid definitions defined by organizations whose only purpose is to address these issues. Reputable international organizations. And she responded to me and said, there is undeniably a power imbalance. However, in the comment I left on your other video, I have addressed that specific point. I've also heard you use specific definitions which are accurate. However, my issue is that I don't believe James Charles' actions fit into those very specific definitions. That's fine that you don't believe that. You don't have to believe it, okay? I mean, you don't have to believe that there's a city called Washington, D.C. either, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't fucking exist, right? There's a lot of people that are still living on this planet that don't believe that a man ever landed on the moon. That doesn't mean that it didn't happen. There's a lot of people that believe that things that happened and occurred didn't ever happen and occur. So you can believe in whatever you want to believe in, but that doesn't make make it accurate, okay? Um, I've also heard you... Okay, wait. Um, again, I really hope you are able to read over my longer comment I left on your Daniel. It is a long comment. I left on your Daniel Prado video and addressed it in another video since I feel like I've done an all right job at laying out my issues. I hope you're able to consider, I hope you able to consider my perspective and why I feel this way. And then I said, who are James' victims that he apologized to and what did he apologize for? She never responded to that. I said, please send me an email with your comment and I will make an entire video about it. And she said, the email has been sent. So let's go over and let's read her email. Okay. So here's her email. And I'm going to read the whole email to you, okay? Because she sent it to me. I told her I'd make a whole video about it. So she, you're going to get the whole video. She said the comment about James Charles. Hi, Peter. I'm the person. I don't know. It, it may not be a she. It may be a he. I have no idea. Hey, Peter, I'm the person who asked you to check out a comment of mine and who you said to email. Down below will be the comment I left on another video of yours. Just so it's clear, none of this comes from a place of hate or a want to defend James. Char James. It, it comes across as you're defending James, okay? I understand. Like, here's the thing, right? And maybe you're not. I don't know. But when people come to videos, okay, discussing James Charles or Colleen Ballinger, and they say, I'm not trying to defend James or Colleen, but, and then they list a whole paragraph or two defending James Charles or Colleen Ballinger, it makes me side-eye the comment a little bit and say, well, what you really want is to come across as a really knowledgeable person leaving this comment, when in fact the comment is completely in defense of James Charles, okay? Which is fine, then just say, I'm a fan of James Charles and I don't like that you're using these words, okay? Because I don't want the person that I like to have these words used against him, right? Or I don't understand what these words mean, or I haven't done the research for these words. But you obviously did, because you used several points of what grooming is, but you left out key points. 
camera stopped him at the 30 minute mark. So that's incredibly negligent, okay, to take away from what is so serious. James Charles said in his videos, this is very, very serious. He takes it very, very serious. You're taking away the seriousness from James Charles by minimizing what he actually did. Okay, it's incredibly negligent. And I don't know if you even see that. I don't know how old you are. But by the way you speak, it seems to me that you're older. Like you're not, like, it seems to me like you're, I don't know, not 12, okay? So, um, I've totally stopped supporting him and don't view him as a great person. However, I feel it's important to look at things from the most reasonable, non-biased lens possible and operate with a reasonable amount of charitable, charitable. Okay, I agree with that too. And I get accused a lot of being biased about things. Um, I think it's kind of hard to talk about predators and groomers without being biased, okay? And I think that the majority of the world is probably pr biased towards predators and groomers. I'm just saying, okay? So if you're out there and you're saying, I think we probably don't need to be biased against predators and groomers and against all the fucked up things that James Charles did, your words, not mine, that you said he, he did fucked up stuff and that you, it was fucked up enough that you unfollowed him and that you don't watch him anymore. Wait, what, what did you say? I totally stopped supporting him and don't view him as a great person. Why? If you don't think that he did anything wrong, you don't think he's a predator and a groomer, they just did some fucked up stuff. What did he do that was so fucked up that made you unfollow him? What he did was predatory in nature, okay? It absolutely 100% was. That's why you unfollowed him. Or did you unfollow him? Or are you still following him? That's why you're sending me five pages of comments. I don't know. Okay, I'm just asking. However, I feel like it's important to look at things from the most reasonable, non-biased lens possible and operate with a reasonable amount of charitable charitability. I'm not going to be charitable with James Charles. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Okay? For what he did. James Charles said he didn't want to forget about it. And all these years later, he's joking about it with a, with a cake. Okay? But we'll get to that in a second. Um, so you're asking more of me than you are of James Charles, and I'm making a video responding to it. But you don't hold James Charles to that same accountability. You're not emailing him and saying you need to not laugh at the cake and the situations. I mean, it's not funny, James. Like, what you did was very serious, don't you remember? Are you leaving those comments on his videos? Are you saying, hey, James, like, you said you didn't want to just go on and forget about this, but you've never spoken of it since. You've never told us, like, what you've grown and learned from this. You addressed it in a Cosmopolitan article, but you left out very key parts. You said you were still talking to people in DMs and asking for IDs. You said that your social media apps were not dating apps and that you had learned that. You even said worse things about it, but you're still in your DMs on, in, on social media apps looking for dates. So you really haven't grown and changed, James. Are you leaving those comments on his videos? Or are you just coming to my, my channel and leaving comments in defense of James Charles? Because that's somebody that would be very biased, I would think, right? So I agree with you. You probably need to look at this from a non-biased point of view. And then when you do, okay, what you'll see is that most of the world is biased towards predators and groomers, okay? That all being said, here is the comment. All right, here is the comment. It is one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, nine very long paragraphs. Okay, here's the comment, the very long comment. As much as I like James, or as much as I dislike James, I think we need to stop acting like everyone who associates with James Charles is an awful person who supports predatory behavior. They do. James Charles is a predator. If you support his brand and you support James Charles, you are a predator supporter, okay? James Charles really, really, really messed up. How? What did he do? If you don't think that what he did was predatory or grooming, what did he do that was so messed up? That he was having a sexual conversation with an adult? That's legal. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm married, and if I want to have a sexual conversation with an adult, the worst that people could assume of that is that I'm cheating with somebody. But if I'm having a conversation with a 35-year-old, okay, people would say, well, you're married and you have a husband. And I don't, by the way. I don't at all. But if somebody wanted to say that to me, I'm 35 years old, the worst they could accuse me of was, if they're 35 years old and I'm 51, the worst they could accuse me of is cheating. So if James, if you think that James was talking to people that he thought were adults, okay, when he even comes out and says that with a quick search of social media, he could have found out their ages. It's not, it's not even a, it, the age thing is, is so problematic in its own but you can be a predator and a groomer of adults as well, okay? And I did the research and I know that to be true. And you will hear in a second as well, okay? So, 
what is so messed up that he did that you say really, really, really messed up by doing what? That you needed to unfollow him and not support him anymore, but then come over here and defend him and make sure that we're using the appropriate words. Now, I don't believe that you do. I don't believe that you think he messed up. I don't believe that you think that you unfollowed him. And this is not just to her or him or whoever. This is to all the people out there that defend James Charles at nauseam in nice comments or in hateful comments. It doesn't really matter. She said, and I have no issue with people having an issue with him, especially considering I personally strongly dislike him. Why? All of a sudden, you used to support him. You said you didn't support him. But people labeling, labeling James as a groomer and acting as if he's a predator is not necessarily a supported claim. 100% is a supported claim. As far as I'm aware, this is the situation. James Charles messaged two minors. The other accusations were either fake or not able to be 100% verified. Well, that's not true, okay? There were a lot of fake allegations, but there were true allegations from adult straight men as well, okay? That James Charles prayed. That's predatory behavior. That he preyed on straight men and had conversations trying to convince them that they were bi-curious, okay? So that, and I said this in my video earlier, so that they would mess around with him or have sexual conversations with him and things like that, okay? So that's out there as well. And had conversations with them that it consisted of small talk, flirting, and exchanging nudes. These conversations lasted a short period of time before James was either blocked or James blocked the person he was messaging. He said he blocked both of them. So you don't even know your facts about James, okay? Was either blocked or James blocked the person he was messaging after learning their age. He didn't intentionally seek out minors. However, he did nothing to verify the ages of the people he spoke to beyond asking for their age. You're right. Absolutely. 100% you're right. He didn't do anything and those were a year apart. He blocked the first person and then let it happen again and didn't block them, even though both of those people looked extremely young. Have you seen these pe the, the people? They look extremely young today, okay? Today, three, four years later, it would be questionable whether or not they're 18. And what would they be today, 20? Well, I think one of them was 14, people have said, right? Okay, um... He didn't intentionally seek out minors. However, he did nothing to verify the ages of the people he spoke to beyond ver asking for their age. This is incredibly irresponsible and gross behavior. However, this doesn't indicate that he's a groomer or a predator. I agree. Okay? To make things very clear before I continue to mention grooming throughout this comment, I'm referring to sexual grooming, which is the form of grooming that James has been accused of. There are other forms of grooming, but those aren't the specific forms of grooming that are being referred to when we discuss the James Charles situation. Well, actually, in my videos, I've referred to all forms of grooming. Okay? When it comes to sexual grooming, it's simply not possible to groom someone in the way James ha has been accused of doing in such a short amount of time. That's 100% incorrect. Do your research and go look at the articles, okay? By established organizations that protect children and people from grooming and predatory behavior. It's absolutely 100% It's 100% incorrect. In fact, let me read you right here, okay? Since I keep on getting this, um, here is one from um, an article um that says, no one is immune to grooming, though some are more susceptible than others, including minors. Because of their naivete, Marlo Garrison says, who is an expert in the field, grooming can occur at any age, and it has a great deal to do with their gullibility, insecurity, religion, and culture. Okay? There's the first one. Now, this one is from... Hold on a second. Um... Oh. Does grooming always have to be sexual? Grooming can be sexual, romantic, financial, or for criminal or terrorism purposes and can target both children and adults. The common aspect is that a perpetrator manipulates a victim by building trust and support, rapport. By having conversations with him. Romantic, he was looking for a boyfriend. Sexual, was asking for sexual pictures. Financial, was willing to give them gifts and willing to buy them plane tickets to come out. He said that. He said it in the Logan Paul interview. That he has to buy them plane tickets because most of them are in high school and they don't have the money for a plane ticket. Who are you dating at 20 years old that is in high school that you have to send a plane ticket to because you've met online? And any of these websites that you read will tell you that you can groom online as easily in person, okay? Um, anybody, and this is from the NC, NSPCC, which the NSPCC is, hold on a second, I have it right here. Oh, where did I have it? Hold on a second. I have this all pulled up. It's the National... Oh, shoot. Where did I have it? I had it all pulled up. The NSPCC. 
Well, I want to make sure that I do not get this wrong. So I looked this up. Do I still have it? Hold on a second. No. N N S P C C. Wait, wait. N S P C C. Since people want to say I don't cite uh, organizations, the N S P C C is the UK's leading children's charity preventing abuse and helping those affected to recover. Um, and it talks about report child abuse, our services, keeping children safe, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this stands for the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. That's who I'm citing. I don't know who you're citing. Sally Jo Smith that you sat and had coffee with and talked to her about what your opinions are that nobody cares about because you are incorrect and negligent. Okay. So, <clears throat> the NSPCC says... Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Okay. Anybody can be a groomer, no matter their age, gender, or race. Grooming can take place over a short or long period of time, from weeks to years. Groomers may also build a relationship with a young person's family or friends, but doesn't have to happen to make them seem trustworthy or authoritative. Okay? He's an authoritative role. He's James Charles. That's the power differential that we're talking about. Okay? Let's get back to your email. There's no evidence of him intentionally seeking out minors in order to prey upon them. There's no evidence of him building a date, deep relationship with these people over a long time span. I just proved to you it doesn't have to be a long time span. Some of these articles say it can be days. Some of these articles say it could be a day. It could be somebody, there's a bug in my face. That it could be just, it's probably James Charles floating around here trying to get me to shut up. So you're in, and you're inaccurate. If you want to go and read from articles that are written and websites that are like uh, the National Center for, you know, Cruelty for Children or whatever, okay? Like, those are where I'm looking for my definitions. I don't know where you're looking for your definitions and picking and choosing what you want, okay? Um, there's no evidence of him isolating these people from all of their friends and family in order to build a dependency onto which he can exploit. That's, that is not a definitive role of a groomer or goal of a groomer. That, if you read these definitions that say they might do that, but it doesn't say that they have to do that. Okay? This is, again, where you're picking and choosing what applies to James Charles, and you're picking the ones that don't apply to him, okay? There's absolutely none of these important elements of grooming. This doesn't mean he's not a gross person who made some absolutely horrible choices, but it's nothing. It's something that warrants the label of a groomer or a predator. It also doesn't warrant labeling everyone who supports him as some sort of predator, groomer, apologist. Well, if they support him and his brand, then they are an apologist, and then they are supporting a groomer or a predator, okay? If he is a predator or a groomer, but we'll get to that in a second. Since he was called out for set irresponsible behavior, it appears that he's totally stopped engaging in it and hopefully changes a person. Are you kidding? I covered this extensively in videos this summer talking about the Cosmopolitan article and how in the video he said, or in the article he said that he was still reaching out, to, talking to people in DMs and asking for their ID. He said in his Holy Myself Accountable video, which he, he took down because he knew that he had um, implicated himself in criminal activity. He said in there that my For You page and Explore page are not dating apps and I know that now. But he's doing it still, so there's no change. He's still engaging in the same behaviors, asking people for IDs. He's 24 years old, okay? At 24 years old, he said he wants to date somebody in the same video that is his age or older. That means he wants to date somebody that's 23, 24, or all the way to 30. Who is 23 or 24 years old that you need to ask for ID because they look so young that they, are, they, they look younger than 18? So you're having to ask somebody that's 23 that looks 17. I know a lot of young people in recovery that come to meetings that are 23, 22, 24 years old. They do not look 17 years old, Okay. A 23-year-old, a 24-year-old does not look 17 years old. So I don't know why he's having to ask 23 to 30-year-olds for IDs because they do not look 30. So for you to sit in here and say that he is not engaging in that behavior is absolutely 100% inaccurate by James Charles' words alone in the Cosmopolitan article by Gabrielle Bluestone, okay? This is negligent and this is inaccurate, all right? You asked me to respond to it and I'm responding to it. And why would you write nine paragraphs if you're not in defense of somebody? I don't think that I've ever written a nine paragraph article or I don't even think I did a nine paragraph book report, you know, about Susan B. Anthony in third grade. So why the fuck are you writing nine paragraphs about somebody that you're not defending? Are you kidding me? This alone shows obsession, okay? And then people want to say, why don't you let it drop it? She wrote nine paragraphs about it. That's more than I've done in a video before. Okay. 
Um, since he was called out for several irresponsible behavior, it appears that he's totally stopped engaging in it, and I hopefully, and hopefully changed as a person. This doesn't mean you have to support him now, or you have to forget what he's done. He actually asks us not to forget what he done. He says, I don't want to forget what happened. However, I think it shows actual reform and indicates that James is not a serial predator groomer, but rather, rather a complete moron who made some awful, gross, irresponsible decisions. How many times do you have to put yourself in a situation? I mean, there's at least admitted by him three. He admits it happened in 2019 and he was lied to. It happened two more times that he admits to and it was all his own fault. That's three, okay? There were at least two other indications of straight men that came forward that were actually factually evidenced, okay? Maybe all the others were fake. So that's five incidents in the, in the matter of two years, okay? That James Charles was implicated in predatory behavior. What do you mean that that's not ser uh, That's enough. That's a pat. Five people is serial, okay? And serious. I'm sorry you don't think that. To make it crystal clear as, as to why I'm uh, stating he is not a predator either, it's because the evidence and the actions following James' behavior doesn't suggest that seeking out minors was an intentional act. Again, you do not have to be under the age of 18 to have had predatory behavior happen to you. You can be a grown adult and have somebody be a predator in your life, okay? I just cited you websites that talked about it. This is what separates someone from being an irresponsible, reckless, gross person. Oh, those were his exact words in his video, that he was reckless. That was his PR stunt that he used in his video. I just watched his video. He said the word reckless. And a predator. So you bought into James Charles' video, but you're not a James Charles defender, okay? If James intentionally sought out minors in order to exploit them in some way, then it would be incredibly fair to label him a predator. But considering the issue seems to be... Him not checking ages due to negligence and irresponsibility, it suggests that his intent wasn't to specifically target and prey upon minors in some way. Again, you don't have to be a minor to have somebody prey on you. This, again, doesn't change how reckless and awful James' behavior was. What was awful about it? Are you just hung up on the fact that it was minors? And so you're, you, it could be anybody. It could be a 60-year-old. The outcome may be similar, but intent does make all the differences. If James can... You're right, it does. And his intent was to have sexual conversations with people online and force them to send him pictures and to pressure him with his power, okay, in exchanging of gifts, of flying them out to come visit him. And the power differential, that was his intent and his motive. He says it in the video, not about the plane tickets, but he says about the power differential. Okay, but we're going to talk about the video in just a second here. If James continued this behavior, it would strongly suggest that this is a deep-rooted issue and he generally is a predator. He's continued the behavior. He said that. It was self-admitted in the Cosmopolitan article. But so far, there have been no reported cases of him engaging with minors again, luckily. He's... To address one more element of this that I f feel will be brought up, there being an unbalanced power of dynamic existing between James and the fan doesn't in indicate an issue. He said it was an issue. I read the quote. He said it was an issue and that he now understands that the power imbalance. He said it was an issue. So what are you saying? That James Charles, what came out of his own mouth? You're saying all this to take away... You're using all this to excuse James Charles and why he shouldn't be called these words, but those were James Charles' words. He said the power imbalance is very important. Um... A non-balanced power of dynamic alone means nothing. There's a power imbalance between you and your parents, you and your boss, you and your partner potentially, financially or physically. However, nobody would claim that every parent, boss, or partner is abusive. I 100% agree with that. Power dynamics and power imbalances are present everywhere, except that when you're using your power, okay, by money, fame, and power, which he actually admits and says that he didn't think he was doing that, it was gross, and he stands by that, but you can do it and not know you're doing it. So he admits that he was doing it, but he didn't wasn't aware of it, okay? To coerce people to get into a relationship with him. Now, if, if your dad is coercing you to get in a, rela a sexual relationship with him, okay, then that power differential is different. So you stating this is kind of a weird example to me, okay? If your boss, not every one of these relationships is abuse of a power, but if your boss, okay, is telling that if you don't sleep with them, that you're going to lose your job, that's sexual harassment and that's a power imbalance. Nobody would claim that every parent, boss, or partner is abusive. No, not everyone, but some. Some do. Some parents do abuse their kids. Some bosses do abuse their employees. 
Some partners do. You can be in a relationship and your partner can rape you, okay? Just so you know. That's like a, a huge issue that occurs all the time and people don't talk about it enough. People can be sexually abused. Not only that, let's talk about domestic violence victims. But that doesn't mean that every husband or wife is a domestic uh, abuser. But some are. Let's not, let's not take away from those people, okay? Power dynamics and power imbalances are present everywhere. The issue is when you exploit them. Exploiting them by trying to have them send pictures of their armpits to them, okay? And sending nude pictures to them and wanting them to have sexual conversations with them. That's exploitation. Do you not understand that? Okay. Um... Him threatening to leverage his platform against someone if they don't engage with him in a certain way. That's not the only way, okay? That's not him saying, like, well, I'm going to send uh, a million people to you if you don't do what I ask you. That's not the only way. You are such a fan, and it just, like, it seethes out of your words, okay? Considering there's no proof of James doing anything remotely similar to that, I don't think it's fair to claim any issue with the power dynamic. He said the power dynamic. Do you, mean, do you need me to read the words again to you that James said? Here, let me read it to you again so you understand, okay, that James Charles said it in his own video. If this is James that I'm speaking to, and James is the one sending me all this stuff, James, you said it in your own fucking video. Power and balance began to be discussed, and rightfully so and conversations on social media. Accused of using my name, my fame, money, and power to get what I wanted. I said I would never do that and it was gross. I still stand by that. But I've realized that power imbalance can happen even when it's not intentional. People will say and do things because they're excited about talking to a celebrity. I wasn't getting that, but I now do. What he's saying is he was using his power imbalance, okay, and using his fame, power, and money to manipulate people, and he wasn't aware of that. Those are his words, sweetheart, not mine, okay? Quit shooting the messenger, like I say in all my videos. I hope, um, I hope everyone who sees that, and then you, a power dynamic is okay as long as it's not used with the intention of exploitation. Well, there's a lot of other reasons why a power imbalance is not okay. You know, when you talk about power imbalance between, like, a father and a daughter, okay, there's a lot of, that power imbalance alone, okay, is not inappropriate. It's when that power imbalance is used to be inappropriate. It's when you are a celebrity and people are only talking to you because you are a celebrity, okay? And then you're asking said people who would only talk to you if you were James Charles, not James Dickinson, which he says in the video, and asking them for sexual conversations and sexual pictures. That is the definition of exploitation. I don't know if you don't understand that, okay? But you can go do your research on that. I hope everyone who sees this, including Peter, takes the time to reconsider the words we're using. I hope you do. I hope you do because you're inaccurate and you don't know what you're talking about. It's okay to despise James, but say he's a gross person who made awful decisions. Please try not to misuse very serious words with a very specific meaning behind them. Just so it's especially clear again, I do not support James. Yes, you do. Okay? It just is, It's very obvious in this video. Um, just so it's especially clear again. And you wouldn't keep on saying it if it wasn't true. Just so you know. I've been doing this for seven years. I know how you people talk, okay? You wouldn't mention it several times in several comments if you if you didn't want people to know that you aren't a James Charles fan because you are a James Charles fan. You just come out and say what you had to say. You wouldn't need to prove that, okay? I don't get in every one of my videos and say, I just want to make this clear I'm not a James Charles fan. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Just so it's especially clear, I do not support James. And if you think he should be char cha charged for exchanging nudes with those two boys, then I fully support that as that's a total violation of law regardless of if he knew these two boys' true ages or not. Using the correct verbiage when talking about serious situations like this is just something that's very important to me. Also to clarify, one extra thing that I've heard mentioned in your videos, Peter, you seem to use James having a cake at the birthday that says, you did it at my birthday dinner as an example of him joking about inappropriate behavior he's done, which is simply untrue. That statement was said when Toddy mentioned the whole situation with the waiter from Seattle her video. However, Toddy's recalling of that situation been reasonably debunked by James in his No More Lies video. James never poked fun at the most recent allegations of inappropriate behavior as far as I'm aware, nor has he done it at past inappropriate behavior considering the waiter situation wasn't accurately portrayed by Toddy. The, 
the the waiter situation might not have been portrayed by Toddy accurately, and she came out and did one of the worst things she possibly could do, which was by being the ultimate predator protector. Even though she no longer follows him, they have no interactions, and they are no longer friends, even though they said they made up. She did the worst thing she possibly could do as a predator protector by coming out and taking back what she said, okay? But she stood by the fact that he said sucking cuck in, su sucking balls or sucking cock and balls at her dinner party. That alone was inappropriate. And that he said that he, about what he could have and what he couldn't have, okay? I've had conversations with James Charles years ago where he said very similar things to me about wanting a straight man as a boyfriend. I mentioned it enough times in videos that y'all should know this by now. Okay, that's the end of our video. So I want to share her her, um, her video, her email. I want to share some things I found, okay? Just so you guys know. Okay, so here's the birthday cake, first of all. Well, I'll show it up in a second because we're going to talk about that in just a second. Predatory narcissist. This narcissist has a deep need for attention and admiration. He believes he is superior and has little regard for the feelings of others. His mental illness creates destruction for those around him. That's a predatory narcissist, Okay. I'm not saying that that's what it is. Signs of a sexual predator. Associating with children. James Charles did that, knowingly or unknowingly. Creating dependency by talking to them. They want to continue to talk to him. Using manipulative language. I think we can all agree that James Charles' language is um, about my boy being my boyfriend is a lucrative job for you. And come on, just send me a picture. It's not that hard. That's manipulative language. That's three. Pushing physical and sexual boundaries. Telling somebody that they are bi-curious when they don't want to be bi-curious. Okay? And trying to convince them that they're bisexual so that you can sleep with them. That is pushing physical and sexual, sexual boundaries. That's four. Begging people for pictures that are sexual in nature. That's four of them. Expressing jealousy and controlling behavior. Okay? So, I don't necessarily know about the jealousy or the controlling behavior part of that, okay? But that's four out of five of them. Now, he did say in the video that his first inclination was that he wanted to come out and he wanted to make a video talking about all these people and that they had dipped into his DMs and stuff when he just came out right before that and said that he was searching for them on his For You page and Explore page. James Charles can't even get his story straight, okay? So, there's five of the indicators of a sexual pre predator, okay? He has four of those. When you take a test online for are you an alcoholic, I believe there's eight questions. If you take past two of them, you're an alcoholic. Just saying. What defines someone as a predator? A predator, a person, group, or business that exploits, victimizes, or preys on others. A sexual predator who targets children. Corporate predators who go after small rivals. An overbearing, greedy, or selfish person. A person, group, or business that exploits, victimizes, or preys on others. James Charles has been proven to prey on others. He also apologized to his victims. Okay? Let's look up the definition for a victim. All right? Hold on a second. I looked up the definition of a victim since you guys can't pull out your Webster's Dictionary. A victim is a person harmed, injured, or killed as a result of a crime, accident, or other event or action. James Charles apologizes and said, I am so, so sorry to my victims. Okay? A predator is a person, group, or business. A person that exploits victimizes or preys on others. A person that victimizes somebody, okay? James Charles apologizes to his victims. That alone, that statement, which is why he took his video down, is the exact definition of a sexual predator, okay? Or a predator. But his was sexual in nature. Just to make that clear, okay? Um... Let me find, I've read some of these things already. Grooming can be sexual, romantic, or financial. Grooming can take place over a short or long period of time, from weeks to years. Groomers may also build, okay, said all that. And then you can go over to this website that I talked about. It says, what is grooming, types of grooming, signs of grooming, uh, abuse, effects of, okay, who's at risk, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, okay, so those are all my receipts that I have. Now I want to get into, um... The video, and I've got to talk about the video, but my battery just went to the halfway mark, so I'm going to change the battery, and then I will come back, because this is going to obviously be a very long video, okay? So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I know some of you are out there, you're like, Peter, this is such a long video, why are you talking about James Charles again? Like, I love you, but no. If you're still here, leave a, uh... What should I pick? Let's just pick, I, if I say blue heart, I'll get blue hearts anyway, because that's kind of my thing, right? So what is a, um, hold on, that's my phone. <laughs> What's an emoji 
that, um, hold on a second, let's just pick some random emoji, shall we? How about everybody leave a pumpkin in the comment section below, if you're on your phone or iPad, leave a pumpkin in the comment section below for Halloween, because I'm getting ready for Halloween. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this, no, I don't respond to everybody that requests that I make a video or respond to them about a comment, okay? The reason I'm responding to this is because I talk a lot about James Charles and Colin Ballinger. I've talked a lot about them recently. I don't want to continue to have to explain things in videos, so I can just reference this video from now on and say, I made a whole video about this. And then people can come over here and they can reference this video. Because in all honesty, I'm tired of getting in every video and having to explain to total idiots why these words are appropriate. Okay? So let's go visit James Charles' uh, video right now called Holding Myself Accountable. I have lots of notes because I watched the whole video and I took notes. So he goes into the video and he says, I want to make it really, really clear that I fully understand my actions and how they are wrong. What actions, James? You never once address the actions or what you said in there. Okay? You talk about messaging minors, but you don't really get into the specifics of it. So if you watch the video, you wouldn't know what actions you're talking about. There's no excuse for them, and I don't plan on making any in this video either, okay? But you do, because you say that you, you've concluded that you're desperate. So that's your excuse for why you did what you did, okay? Is that you're desperate, which is a really desperate excuse, honestly. So you say at the beginning that you're not going to make any excuses, and then you say that what you've figured out is that you're desperate, okay? He goes on to say that this is very important to me and that he's taking this very, very seriously. Insert picture of the birthday cake. It's funny, isn't it, James, today, that your friend bought you this birthday cake, okay? Just so you know, I don't know if you guys know what symbology is, okay? But symbology is like if I hold up Santa Claus, okay, and I go, what is this? And people will say Santa Claus, and I say, okay, what else? There's going to be somebody in the room that's going to go, Christmas, right? Santa Claus is not Christmas, okay? I think we all know that Christmas originated with the baby Jesus. But some people will say that. If I hold up an Easter egg, people will go, Easter, okay? I think we know where Easter originated and where it didn't, okay? There's a lot of different facts behind that, right? Uh, if I hold up a firecracker, people will go, Fourth of July, you know? Okay. A firecracker is not 4th of July. So when you are showing this birthday cake, okay, it is not just making fun of the Tati allegations. It's making fun of all of the allegations, okay? That's how serious he takes it. That that whole period of his life, okay, that people want to make fun of. I know your defense against that is that it's the Tati allegation specifically, but it's not, okay? It's about all of it. Him holding up the birthday cake, you know, is somebody holding up a carved pumpkin and people go, Halloween, okay? Him holding up the birthday cake is laughing at being called a predator and a groomer. I think that's very important to understand. That Daniel Prada thinks it's funny. And somebody said Daniel took down the pictures. I looked right before I made this video. Daniel Prada has still not unfollowed James Charles and still has the picture on his Instagram from June 2nd. You can go look at it, okay? Trust me, if he takes it down, I will. somebody will message me and I will, I will uh, in a video, say Daniel Prada took the picture down. It's June 2nd. And it's like the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth picture on there, okay? So, just want to make that clear, all right? So you understand that. Now, that's hard. I know that's hard sometimes, okay? He then goes on to provide a trigger warning. And I'm asking myself, like, okay, if, if you didn't do anything wrong and you're not a predator, predator or a groomer, what are you providing a, a trigger warning for? Now, trigger warnings, if you don't know, are for people that have experienced traumatic experiences. Actually, let's just look this up so I, I don't get anything wrong. I want to make sure that I'm completely 100% real in this video. Trigger warning definition. Okay, so that we know what James Charles was doing in this video. A, a statement at the start of a piece of writing, video, etc., alerting the reader or viewer to the fact that it contains potentially distressing material often used to introduce, in, introduce a description of such content. There probably should be a trigger, okay. What is the meaning of a trigger warning? A trigger warning is a statement made prior to sharing potentially disturbing content. That content might include graphic references to topics such as sexual abuse, self-harm, violence, eating disorders, and so on, and can take place in the form of image, video clip, audio clip, or piece of text. James Charles is talking about messaging two minors that he did not know were minors, okay? Why would he need to include a trigger warning in there? What are these topics that he's referring to in there that he will never say what the topics are, okay? What did you include a trigger warning for if you do not believe that you did anything that was predatory or grooming? What's the trigger warning for? That alone should let people know that trigger warning right there at the beginning of the video, that trigger warning alone that he included that should know that it indicates that he put people through a, 
a traumatic experience. He didn't go through a traumatic experience. He's sharing that he hurt other people, his victims that he apologizes to, and they went through a traumatic experience. And he's sharing what he did to them, okay? Self-proclaimed predator. A predator is somebody that preys and has victims. I don't know what I have to explain about this any further. It's like you guys are like, this is, <laughs> this is where I said the other day, it's like you can show somebody the facts and look right at them and they'll go, that's not true. I'm proving you with the, I'm, I'm showing you and giving you proof of the facts and you're saying that's not true, okay? I've done it in multiple videos. I'm so tired of talking about this stuff. And I know nobody's forcing me to talk about it, but I think it's important that we don't forget what James Charles did, okay? Because the second that everybody forgets about it is the second that he will do it again. Two people, both under the age of 18, have come forward saying that they had inappropriate messages with me on social media, one of them being from last year and one of them being more recent. He says that uh, they, he was, when he was told that they were 18, he found out that they were 16 and immediately blocked both people. Now, he says it's like they were both together at the same time and he blocked both of them like on the same day. Okay, that's how he says it. He doesn't say that he did it on the same day, but he kind of implies that it was like, I blocked them both immediately. Well, one happened a year ago. So if you blocked them immediately as you found out, how long was that conversation going on for, okay? That then when you found out that they were 16, you blocked them, okay? And then the next one happened a year later that you were talking to somebody that was 18 years old that looked young enough that was 16. You again didn't ask them for their ID, okay? And it happened again. Once is an incident, twice is a, a pattern, okay? And this has now happened three times because you referenced the incident before, right? Okay, so it's now happened three times and then it starts happening. What you do is you switch your mode, your motive, okay? And you start going after straight men and this has been proven, okay? And trying to have sexual relationships and say that they're bi-curious to straight men, okay? All right, so make sure that we're clear on that. As he did more research on these topics, what topics are you researching, James? How to sext? How to have uh, conversations with people in your DMs? What are, you, what, are you, what are you researching? He realized that he fucked up. Well, how did you fuck up, girl? What did you have to research that you fucked up, okay? Did you have to research that you should ask somebody for an ID if you think that they're not under the, if you're not over the age of 18? I don't, what book are you reading? Internet dating for dummies? I mean, I don't, girl, what are you reading, okay? Would you like to expand on that? Because you don't. Then he goes on to say, I need to take accountability for my actions and apologize to the people that are affected by them. What actions? You don't ever say what actions. What actions are you referring to and who are the people that you hurt? These conversations should never have happened. Why? What was wrong with them? When I was 20 years old, I had sexual conversations with other 20 year olds. Trust, I did. You know, I. What's wrong with two 20-year-olds having a sexual conversation? Oh, they weren't 20 years old, okay? Or they didn't want to have those conversations with you and you use your power to say, oh, come on, it's really easy. Just send me a... I've seen those, I've seen those text messages where you're begging people to send you... Oh, come on, it's really easy. It's really easy to send me a picture. Just send me a picture of your armpit hair. Come on, it's just real easy. That's called coercing somebody into doing something that they don't want to do. That's predatorial behavior, okay? That, is that the research that you're doing? Okay, predatory behavior for dummies. Um, but he didn't do the research, he said. As an adult, this is where people want to put it on the victims and say, it's not James' fault they lied to him. This is right here in the video, okay? As an adult, it is my job to verify who I'm talking to. You can't say they lied to him anymore, okay? You cannot say that, all right? Because he says right here, as an adult, adult is my job to verify who I'm talking to. He just said it was his fault. Therefore, there is no one to blame for this other than myself. Those were his exact words. He says, I'm sorry to the guys. It's unacceptable. What is unacceptable? That you were having conversations with minors? Yes, I agree with that. Okay. Or that you were coercing people to have sexual conversations that didn't want to or didn't want to send you armpit pictures? What was, what was unacceptable? He was being reckless. Oh, that girl that's not a fan of James Charles, she said that he was being reckless, or he said that she was being reckless, or he said that he was being reckless. Interesting that you use that word. I I'm kind of starting to think that maybe that is James Charles. Because you're still being, you're still being reckless, James, okay? You said that in the Cosmopolitan article that you're still talking to people in DMs and asking for IDs. Whose ID are you needing to ask for at 24 years old, okay? Then he goes in this whole thing about how he's desperate. He, feel he realized he was desperate. 
He said, it looks like I'm looking for younger people to be in a relationship with, and that is not the case. He said, it is my hope, and always has been, to be in a relationship with someone around my age or older. You told them, they told you that they were 18 years old, okay? That's not your age or older. <laughs> this is basic math. Remember that video that you did, James, where you told us how more affordable it was? for sponsors to hire influencers than to shoot commercials for TV. And he did that whole math on the board and all that kind of stuff. 20 minus 18 equals younger, okay? 20 minus 18 does not equal my age or older. <laughs> you did that whole math about how everybody should pay you large sums of money. You, you could do math then, but you can't do math of 20 minus 18 equals two years younger, not my age or older, okay? But then you also came out in the Logan Paul uh, podcast and you said that when Logan asked you about dating, you said, I would date somebody that looks as young as possible but is 18 years old, okay? So you really want to date an 18-year-old that looks 14, but it's always been your hope to date somebody that looks your age, or that is your age or older. Are you wanting to date a 30-year-old that looks 16, James? Because I'm telling you right now, that's going to be hard to find, okay? Um, I'm just telling you right now. Just saying, okay? I don't know many 30-year-olds, 30, 30 or I don't even know many 24, 25-year-olds that look 16, but good luck with that, okay? So anyway, um, then he goes, when I watch videos in the past of people talking about serious topics such as this, okay, again, you're alluding to serious topics, but you're not sharing what those topics are, okay? And it bothered me that they didn't explain how they got to these conclusions, so then he goes in because he's going to explain to us now how he came to these conclusions of being desperate, okay? The excuse that he said he wasn't going to make in the video. In 2019, he was accused of being a predator, so he had to get on camera and prove that I was being lied to. This is starting to sound like a pattern to me, okay? That you talk to people, and then they lie to you, and then you have to prove that they're lying to you. That's a pattern, okay? I'm starting to think, James, that maybe what you ought to do is, you know, it's completely legal for you at 24 four years old to hire somebody that is an escort and pay them, since you want to do that anyway, and pay them to be your boyfriend, okay? And um, that pick somebody, you know, get on Craigslist ads or whatever, and pick somebody that looks like how you want them to look, okay? That would maybe be what I would suggest. I don't think that's legal in California, though, right? But I think it's legal in Nevada. You might need to move to Nevada for that, okay? I'm just saying, all right? I mean, he's gone to all these other lengths. He doesn't care about the law, so I guess, you know. Anyway, um, so he says in 2019, okay. So then he says, I promised in that video that I was going to be more careful with dating moving forward, and that promise was one that wasn't kept. That promise is one that you still haven't kept. It's another pattern, okay? That you promise things that you don't you don't keep. You're still doing it today. You said that in the Cosmopolitan article. He then apologizes to his friends that warned him that he was going to get hurt. Okay, so his friends around him that are warning him that he's going to get hurt, okay? By talking to inappropriate people that are going to lie to him and then he's going to get hurt by that. So we don't care about the victims, right? We don't care about the people that James Charles is preying on, multiple people at this time, that he's showing predatorial behavior on. This is why Manny MUA on the phone to me defended him. If you knew James Charles behind the scene, well, Manny, James has you snowed too, okay? Because you want to buy into this. For what reason, I don't know. But when you start looking at the facts and you start looking at the evidence and the amount of people, it's a pattern with him. And the pattern hasn't changed. That's why I take issue with the people that in 2023, with all the evidence out there of what he's done, the Cosmopolitan coming out article backing down, backing up that he has not changed as a person, even though he wants everybody to uncancel him, okay? That's why I take issue in 2023 with people continuing to support him, all right? So, it's not about the victims these friends feel sorry for. It's James that they feel sorry for that he's going to get. Poor James. Poor James living in that $5 million mansion in Hollywood, driving a Tesla. and Poor James. I could reach out to anyone on my For You page and Explore page as a dating app, and I would find the right... This is what his hope was, and he thought that he could find the right person, but that's literally not how dating works at all. <laughs> Girl, just get tender. Just fucking get tender, okay? Or eHarmony, where people have to be vetted out. Get eHarmony, okay? Or Match.com. Those people have to be vetted out. You don't even have to check their IDs. Their IDs are checked before they sign up. Get the one where you have to pay $90 a year or a month, whatever, okay? 
Then you don't have to be asking people for IDs and them sending pictures of their driver's licenses and DMs on Instagram or uh, TikTok. Just sign up for... He then goes on to say, it's gross, it's weird, it's desperation. It's gross, it's weird, it's desperation, and you're still doing it. <laughs> then he goes in the whole power imbalance things. And then he goes on and says, you know, but then you start excusing it in your head because they DM you first, they flirted first. Wait a second. But you just said that you thought that you could reach out to anybody that you would scroll through your For You page or your Explore page that you were going to find. You said that. That you would scroll through your For You page. So, are they reaching out to you first or are you reaching out to them, James? Because you said earlier in the video, like literally three minutes, four minutes, two minutes before, that you would scroll through and try to find the right person. So, would you just, what would you do? Like follow them, and then they realize, oh my god, James Charles is following me. Like, this is manipulative. If this is what you were doing, this is more sick and twisted and manipulative than people know. If you went through and liked their pictures, this is the game that celebrities do, okay? I know this. If you went through and followed them and liked their pictures, and then all of a sudden they noticed, okay, and you did this to, let's say, six guys, and six, which means you were looking at their social media pro profiles, so you would have known their ages, okay? So you're going to their pages, you're like, because you pick them from your For You page or whatever, or Explore page, and then you go through and you like, like, six of their pictures, and they're like, oh shit, James Charles liked my pictures, right? I mean, normal people that aren't celebrities do this shit and meet online, okay? It's weird, but they do it. And then they reach out to you and they go, oh, I'm a huge fan, I've really liked you for a long time. And that's not manipulation if that's what you are doing. How do you have time to read all your DMs? I mean, James, you literally have like 23 million subscribers. I have 235,000. I can't even keep up with my DMs on the daily, okay? I mean, are you living in your DMs? Like, seriously, girl? Looking for the, the person to, to tweet you something sexual? It's just, it's so b bizarre. I mean, you're, you're running companies and stuff. Then he goes on to say that these are topics we need to be talking a lot more. What topics, James? What topics? What happened is not okay. What happened? You never say in this video what happened, except for that you were talking to these two guys and they were underage and, and that you didn't know that they were underage. You don't specifically say what happened. You don't want to just forget about it. And you say you're glad that it happened so that you can do better in the future. Oh, this, I, I want to do better. We all want to do better, okay? You even then go on to say that the only way that you can show that you're sorry is through action and change. I agree, girl. When are you going to start showing it? Can you tell I'm getting over this video? I'm so fucking over talking about James Charles. He's never going to change. I have no hope for the fact that he's going to change. I just want you to know that right now. Okay? In fact, I, I believe that something will come out that he has, that will implicate him even further in this. Because now that he's riding high on this launch, his ego and his pride and everything is riding so high. And he the only thing that he does not have in his life is a boyfriend. So he's probably looking real hard right now. I hope he doesn't do something uh, reckless again. He says, my For You page and Explore page are not dating apps, and I will stop treating them as if they are. And in the Cosmopolitan article from this spring, he said he is still in DMs, talking to people, asking them for their uh, IDs. And Gabrielle Bluestone let him get away with that and didn't ask further questions, which is why she is negligent in her job as a research journalist. Okay. I understand why I and only I got myself in this situation. You cannot blame these people and say, well, they lied to James. For all the people that want to say, well, he, they lied to James. No, James says right here, I understand why I and only I got myself in this situation. To the victims, he says, I am so, so sorry. Victims of what, James? Victims of your predatory preying behavior? Victims of grooming? What? Victims of that shitty paint and makeup that you just put out? Victims of what? Your TikTok challenges? I think we know what they're victims of, but you won't come out and say it. Then why did you say the word victims? Okay, that's a pretty specific word to choose and use. Okay, that only implies, hold on a second, let's read again the definition of victim. A person harmed, injured, or killed as a result of a crime, accident, or other event or action. Well, we know you didn't kill anybody. We know you didn't injure anybody, I don't think. So you harmed these people, okay, as a result of either a crime, and now an accident isn't appropriate in this, or an other event or action. So it was either a crime, event, or action where you harmed somebody. That is what a victim is, okay? So what did you do? 
Could you just come out and say what you did so we all know? Okay. And then he said, I'm going to take some time to further reflect and educate myself on these topics. Again, what fucking topics, James? What topics? Today's current event topics... I don't even know what to say. I love you guys so much. Happy fall. See you tomorrow. Bye.